Hi everyone, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming, and today we're going to be covering the new driver that AMD has released. Now, you have to get this through the MyAsus app, so if you do not have that installed, you're going to have to install it. Um, and if you haven't really messed with your device too much, then you probably already have it installed because it comes installed by default uh, when you get the ROG Ally. So, uh, we're going to start by going to the start menu here, and I'm using a mouse and keyboard just to make things easier. And uh, so if you don't have a dock, you'll want to consider getting one. So if we scroll down here to My Asus, you can see it's going to pop up here. And uh, it's going to show you that you have an essential update. So we're going to click on that. Um, and if you see this, I have basically told it to do 319 BIOS update, but then I disabled it and put it back on the 317. Um, so, so right now I'm running on the 317 BIOS. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and test with the 317 BIOS, but the, before we do anything, we have to download the driver. So when you go into My Asus here, you're going to see this graphic driver. You're going to see it says Hotfix. So this is a newer version. There was even a Hotfix yesterday, and when I tested with it, it didn't really do much. But I'm hearing uh, through Reddit and uh, pretty much through Reddit, honestly, that people are having better experiences. So I'm going to do some testing with this. And we're going to download it and get it installed. So if you're new to doing driver updates, that kind of stuff, new to PCs, then this is how you do it. You just go ahead and, and go in here and click on the download icon. Now, it can take a while just depending on how fast your download speed is. Um, and uh, the device is the same other than that. If you have slow download speed, it might take a little bit. But um, if you do happen to see it kind of get stuck uh, trying to load Windows... Um, I've heard some people say it can take sometimes 10, 20 minutes, that kind of stuff. Uh, then, then that's just an issue in Windows and you just need to hold down the top button and uh, power it off and then power it back on. Now, typically when you do Windows updates, you don't want to do that. But if you're doing a graphics driver install and it gets stuck there for an extended period of time, then you may have to consider shutting it down and turning it back on. Um, but the best way is to try and just let it run its course and uh, do its update. So we're going to let this thing go ahead and download here and I'm going to just fast forward through the download part and the waiting for Windows and, and we're going to come back when it has uh, gotten booted back into Windows. Alright, so we are back into Windows. It didn't take too long. I'm going to guess it was around three minutes. So We've got the new driver going, and the first thing I'm going to test is Diablo 4. Obviously, this is something that I've tested before, so it's it's going to be good to compare it to my previous videos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play some Diablo 4, and we're just going to check the performance against the previous driver. Now, just uh, being clear here that in this video, I'm really just going to be trying to check for Diablo 4 differences, uh, but I am going to make another detailed video that covers a few more games. I'm thinking I'll probably cover um, Elden Ring, um, uh, Cyberpunk, uh, maybe some others, uh, perhaps Hogwarts. I see uh, that's one that seems to be getting some better performance. So that's something I'll probably be working on um, uh, here soon. But I wanted to get this one out just to see if we saw a difference between Diablo in the previous version and in this version. So we're going to go ahead and pick uh, the Necromancer. That's the same one we've been playing with. We're going to go to the same place we've been going uh, just to try and keep things as fair as possible. Let me straighten this camera up a little bit here. Alright, so let's go ahead and figure out our waypoint was I think drawn dies there we go so we're gonna go ahead and head there Okay, so I'm going to turn on the performance monitor. I'm actually going to move that halfway so we can see it a little bit better. Um, 
I do not remember who mentioned that, but in one of my comments, somebody mentioned that, and that is a nice tip that you can either click on the screen and move it, or if you have a mouse and keyboard connected, you can drag it anywhere on the screen you want to. So we're going to go ahead and jump on the mount here, and we're going to head over there. It is this dungeon. We're going to mark that, and then we'll just follow the trail. So now we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look and verify that we are indeed on the performance mode. And sorry, I noticed there's that uh, dog hair on the screen, so please ignore that. And they always block us right by the entrance. It's all right. It should be quick. So we're getting around 60 FPS here. That's not too bad. Um, but we were performing pretty well in the 317 BIOS before. So let's see if that's about the same or if there's any real difference. Okay, so we're in the 60s here, about 70 in this little area. Let's see if we um, bump it up to turbo. And to be fair, I need to unplug this. So turbo, we're in the 80s. It's not bad, um, but we had seen in the 90s before, so I'm not going to say this is necessarily a big difference, at least in this game, but maybe in my additional testing, uh, we'll see what kind of difference we have. So I'm going to go back to the performance mode, and that puts us in the 70s, which is still very, very playable. So we're going to go fight some folks and see kind of how it does. Here are the three pedestals that we usually come and fight down south of it. It is uh, randomly generated, it seems, so there might be some uh, uh, some variation, but this should still give us a good idea here. So we're in the 50s there. Just kind of a little crook here, so we're in the 70s. And then we were able to get up around 92 before on turbo mode. So fighting, we're at in the 80s there. It looks like we're in the high 80s. So still good performance, but this doesn't seem to have made really much of a performance difference on the gameplay. Now, what I'd like to see is if this thing has performance difference on gameplay for 319. So, um, we'll test that out here in just a minute after I kill this pack here. I'll probably fast forward through some of this. Yeah, I mean, it's playing well. But just not really any different than it did before. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour it out of here. And then we will come back and test this again. Um, with the 319 BIOS. If we can get this type of performance with the 319 BIOS, then that will definitely show me an improvement. So I'll go ahead and do that offline and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright folks, now we are back. I um, took the time to uh, upgrade the BIOS back to 319 and uh, we're going to see if Diablo still gives us good frame rates to so see if Perhaps this new driver version has improved frame rates on Fear of Diablo, or if it has not. So, um, we're seeing about the same frame rates under version 317 of the BIOS with the new AMD driver. So, no real change there from what I could tell. Uh, but, let's see if it's improved 319, because I know people would prefer to be on the latest BIOS, but... Um, if this driver fixes it, then maybe there was just an issue between the driver and the BIOS. 
Okay, so we're going to play as our necromancer again. Pretty much the same thing each time we test, just to get an accurate test. Um, you know, I'll probably consider using new benchmarking software, that kind of stuff, uh, as my channel's growing. Uh, try and get it a little bit more detailed. So we are going to play in manual mode. We will try out turbo. Uh, we're on our gamepad, so I think we're good there. Everything seems to be working. We're going to turn on our monitor. Go ahead and drag this down to the middle here. So we're getting in the 60s in town, which, I mean, this is better than we saw before uh, with 319. So, so that's definitely positive. Getting 66 there, that's pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and move to the area where we've done this before. Let's see. So we need to get down here to Gerondi. And then we can check out our stats there. Let me make sure I'm in the right mode here too. I don't want to um, test this in the wrong mode. So Okay, so we're in manual, yeah. So manual should do better. We're going to change it to the 15 watt performance. I've got my manual set to 18 watts. So 51, yeah. So this is this is about what we were seeing in town. It seems to be a little slower. Of course, we're getting down to the 40s here. That is a little slower than I remember seeing on the 317 BIOS. So we're going to go ahead and run over. Let me go ahead and mark the dungeon we always go to. And we're going to run over there and see kind of how our FPS handles, and then once we get in the dungeon, uh, be able to try and compare like we have in the past. So, getting decent performance here. Now remember, we're on performance mode, so this is lower wattage mode, give you better battery life, and 60 is pretty good performance for. Um, just playing there. Saw a little bit of slowdown when I jumped off that horse there. So we'll have to see if we see that in the dungeon when we're fighting as well. So I usually like to run to just one of the uh, beginning areas, kind of against a wall, and see what type of uh, uh, stats we get. So, let's see, maybe we can kind of run over here, and let's see, right here we're getting about 69 FPS, 72 FPS. So that definitely seems to be better than we were seeing with 319 um, in the original driver. So we're going to bump up to turbo here and see what type of stats we see. So at turbo, we're getting in the 80s. So moving around, we're still seeing 70s here, but just kind of up against a wall there, it's doing pretty well. I will say the temp looks very hot, um, and I don't remember it being that high on BIOS 317. All right, so let's switch back to our performance mode and we'll see where our temp sits at. So instantly goes down a few there. But still we're in the 80s. I feel like the temperatures were much lower than that. I'll go back and check the videos and throw in uh, uh, something about that while we're fighting here. So I did check and in BIOS 317 with the new AMD driver the temperatures were significantly lower. We we're running around 62 Celsius while playing in performance mode and running around 82 Celsius while playing in turbo mode. Now to be perfectly honest, I did notice that I still had the device plugged in, uh, but I don't have a charger on it capable of pushing the 30 watt turbo mode. Um, but just in case it is actually pushing that, I want it to be fair um, and state that this probably had more power when it was plugged in although it had less performance on version 319 with the new driver. So I'll still conclude that we have better performance with the old BIOS um, than with the new BIOS. All 
Okay, so now after fighting in this little area here, kind of south of where we were before, and these are drawn a little bit differently each time. They're procedurally uh, generated. So um, if we look at it, we're at 79 temp, we're at 74 FPS. We're going to bump that up to turbo again and see where we get to. And we're not quite getting to um, the 80s and 90s like we were. So I'm going to say this still doesn't fix the problem. It definitely feels like it's better performance with uh, BIOS 319, but still not as good as BIOS 317. Um, plus, this temperature has me a little concerned. Modern processors can run pretty warm, but 95 is probably bottlenecking this um, processor here to where it can't really push any higher FPS. If it was cooler, then I think it might have been able to. Anyway, that seems to be the performance between the new driver on BIOS 317 and 319. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about, at least in Diablo. Um, as I said, I want to do another video with more uh, testing for some of the other applications, um, like Hogwarts and Cyberpunk, those type of games, uh, maybe Elden Ring. So I'll have to do another video on those and give you the results that I can find between the different BIOS versions and graphics versions. Anyway, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming. I'm out and appreciate it if you give me a like and subscribe.